Hi guys! Today I have a card to share and this card is for Snap Diva 1's challenge and she is Kim and she's having a summer scene card challenge and I decided to enter because I like making scene cards it wasn't too difficult to do and the uh, rules were to make a summer scene card using a girl image so this is what I made and this is the front of the card and on the front I just put the sentiment and it says swimming by to wish you a great summer and that I just hand wrote it and went over it with a spectrum noir marker and I'll go over the details once I show the whole card but here's the front this is a five by seven inch card and then here is the inside so this is a pop-up card and it's kind of hard to show like this because it's, but it stands up like that and then you can see it like this. So I'll insert a clip here so you can see it um, front facing so you can see a little better. Okay, so there you saw the front of the card and how it would look like if you have it standing up. So here's the card and I decided to do a pop-up card and this is in the inside and I used kind of the idea of an envelope pop-up scene card and I'll link the video down below. I didn't use her exact instructions, I made it a little bigger and a little differently but it's on the same idea. So here is the inside again and then here is the back. So here I'll write a quick note there. And I just signed into my name and added a few more stickers on the back. So for, I used some dies and those I put them away because I have them on magnetic sheets. But I used my scallop circle dies from Spellbinders and also my circle dies. And I used the circle dies for the bubbles as well. And I just cut those out of glitter, blue glitter cardstock from DCWB and just white cardstock. And then I went around it with the Peacock Feathers Distress Ink. Then I used my foliage die, I think it's called, um, from Spellbinders. It has the leaves and such, which I got at Michael's. And I used that to make some little coral. And I put that here and over here. Then these little mermaids are from a website called Daily Art Hub and they give free clip art and SVG files once a day so every day they have new files so I check them every day and get th their new files and I'll put a link below to that in case you're interested but I got those mermaids from there and I don't have a machine that cuts SVG files so I just print them out from the computer and cut them out then also this little turtle is from one of those websites as well. That one is called Miss Kate's Cuttables and she also gives a free clip art slash SVG file on her website every day and I try to check those as well. So this was a free one that she was giving on one of the days and I'll put a link below to that as well in case you're interested. So I put a little turtle there. Then my girl image, which was one of the requirements, is this um, greeting farm stamp and it is from the magical kit. And I just drew on a little bikini top on her. So there she is. And then the rest are pretty much stickers. So I'll quickly show those. But I used a bunch of stickers. I just took out my summer sticker pack and used a bunch of those. So I used the Merry Mermaids sticker book from Michaels. I use these and these are from the Dollar General. So I'll just go through all of them. I think most of them are from the Dollar Tree though. These are the ones that are on the front and these are from the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree. These also. I think all the rest are from the Dollar Tree. So these. This one. This one, this one, this one's from the Dollar General, 
And then here's where I got the big castle from. It's on the inside. And finally, this one. And it's from the Dollar Tree. So yeah, I used a bunch of stickers in here. And you can see them here. And the background, I did it with my distressings. I used um, chip sapphire, faded jeans, and peacock feathers to do the background. So there's the card. And the papers I used for the sand, I used this one, the Bow Bunny Serenity paper pad. And for on the outside, I used the Bow Bunny Lemonade Stand. So I will put the link below to Snap Diva One's um, challenge giveaway. So hopefully you can go and enter. I believe it ends on July 11th, so you still have some time to enter. And thanks, Kim, for the fun challenge. I do enjoy making a scene card, so this was fun to make. And thanks for watching. Bye.